and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing Universal, mixing it up, not doing Disney today. I've got my Gryffindor Harry Potter scarf on and I'm ready to go to Harry Potter World. There is the Universal Ball. Here we are at Universal. It's all done up for Christmas. Hello everyone, I am here at Universal, walking down the main drag and I'm gonna try to find Diagon Alley just passing King's Cross Station which is where you can get the train to Hogsmeade which is in the other park. Over there is the night bus where you can get a picture in front of it with the conductor and over here is the entrance to Diagon Alley. Wow! Look at that! Okay, now that I'm officially here at Diagon Alley, I'm going to try to ride Gringotts. And I'm hoping that there is a single rider so I can get in a lot quicker. I actually rode this ride opening day. I waited for like seven hours and then it broke down. It was very sad. But I'm going to ride it again today and the wait time shouldn't be seven hours, surely. Here we are. Gringotts ride is right at the end with the dragon. Single rider is unfortunately temporarily unavailable. With Gringotts, you've actually got to rent a locker. So you put your bag in here. It's free for some lockers and you have to pay for other ones. I've gone for a free one. In the line now for Gringotts. This is a lot faster than it was on opening day. Look, I'm just walking through. So great. Here we are inside the Gringotts bank. I'm so surprised how good this is. I thought I'd be waiting for a million years. Like, look at this. There's nobody here. It's so good. Love it. Here we are, walking down. Now we get in a lift. of the ride there is a gift shop obviously as you can see there's a lot of house pride merchandise they also have some butterbeer merch i've already got a butterbeer glass at home they've also got these somewhat spirit jersey things i think i might be getting the gryffindor one by the end of the day here is the weasley's candy shop i'm gonna go inside and see what fun treats they've got they've got some really cool confectionery in here they've got a cauldron cake and then there's pumpkin cake. And of course, they have the famous chocolate frogs. Here is the Leafy Cauldron, which is the food place. It's just a quick service, so you don't need to make any reservations. Here is the menu. It's very English, as you might expect. There's fish and chips, banger sandwich, bangers and mash, toad in a hole, cottage pie. One of the great things about Universal is they actually show you the food at the entrance. So you can see that's the plowman's. And there's fish and chips over there. I think that's the bangers and mash and the toad in the hole. Here's the back end to the leaky cauldron where you can go in and eat your meal in this beautiful themed area. Over here is Nocturne Alley. Spooky! Look at these bags you guys. Of course they've got some robes and my favourite scarf ever which I'm wearing today. Okay, so I've decided to leave Diagon Alley now and go to Hogwarts because I want to crush the other two rides that they've got. Apparently the Hagrid ride is quite long right now and I haven't been on that one yet. So I'm going to go over and make sure I get on that. Heading over to the other park now via the Hogwarts Express. So to access the other Harry Potter area, you need to have a park hopper ticket. So they actually scan your tickets as you come on into the ride to make sure you don't just have one day. Look, there he is. There's a sign, platform nine and three quarters. The train has arrived. Just arrived to Hogwarts. The train is here. Here we are. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Before I do anything, I'm going to get some butterbeer because I am so thirsty. It's hot now. Here's where they sell butterbeer, but it's always quite crowded here, so it's better to go inside the restaurant. Here we are, I'm going inside Hog's Head to get my butterbeer. And we're here. Okay, so I've got my butterbeer and I'm ready to drink. I prefer the frozen one, so that's the one I got. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
really really delicious it has that wonderful caramel flavor so good love it if you look here you'll see there's this delicious creamy topping that is the best bit of the whole butterbeer butterbeer has officially been demolished in case anyone wanted to know the cost of butterbeer it is $8.51 so it's expensive but Obviously, it's worth it. I'm try to ride the ride now. Hagrid's magical creatures. Now, there is a single rider line, and it appears to be in use, so that's what I'm going to do. I didn't mention any of this to anyone back at Hogwarts. <laughs> See you next lesson. Just got off the new Hagrid ride. I absolutely loved it. It's now my favorite Harry Potter ride. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to do it again today, but the wait was really, really long. I'm going to try to ride the Forbidden Journey now. Entering to put the camera away in my locker. As you exit the ride, of course, there is merchandise, a lot of platform at nine and three quarter stop. We've got a lot of cool Gryffindor merch. Just got off Forbidden Journey. It's a bit of a letdown after the amazing Hagrid ride, but it's still fun. I probably won't go on that one again. I'm gonna to try to ride Hagrid again. I found the pins. There's not just Disney pins, there's also Universal pins. Looking tempting. Before I line up again for Hagrid's ride, I thought I'd go on the Hippogriff. It's only a 15 minute wait. <laughs> The great thing about the Hippogriff ride is you don't need to store things in a locker. I hate storing things in the locker so much. Here is the Leaky Cauldron, which is a quick service food place. You can also obviously get chocolate frogs at Honey Juice. At Honey Juice, you can get some pumpkin juice to take home with you in a beautiful cup. Over here is the Every Cup Beans. Definitely a must get. Okay, I'm going to buy the fillet and do it again. The wait's only 90 minutes, so it should be short of a single rider. back at Hogwarts. <laughs> See you next lesson. Okay, so I've wandered around a bit. I've seen some merch I like. I think I'm going to get some socks and a pin. I know, big surprise there. Anyway, I'm going to try to ride the Hagrid ride just in the normal line as a single rider though, so I can get in the bike because I've been in the compartment twice. So I'm hoping the bike will be more fun. Everyone seems to want to ride in the bike, so it's got to be good. Okay, so I understand now why people are waiting to ride the bike, because the bike is so much better. Anyway, the Hagrid ride line is now full, so I can't ride it one more time, which is a bit disappointing. But that's okay, I rode it three times, and I feel very lucky. And the ride also broke down in the middle of it, so that was a bit scary, but it's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna try to go back to the other part to ride Gringotts. I'm not sure if it will be full or not, but we'll see. Exiting Hogsmeade on to Diagon Alley. Catching the train again. Back the other way, it's slightly different the other way, so make sure you ride the train twice. Okay, I made it back to Diagon Alley. Gonna walk right in. I'm gonna try to ride Gringotts again at least once, hopefully twice. We'll see. Here we are, ready for ride number two of Gringotts. Just finished up riding Gringotts another two times. It was lots of fun. Now it's night time, so I'm gonna check out the Christmas lights and then I'm gonna head back to Holden's Bay to check out the lights there. As you can see, Christmas here is beautiful. Back on the train again. Hopefully I'll make it. I've only got an hour before the park closes. Fingers crossed I'll get there. There's the train in the night time. About to enter Hogsmeade at Christmas. Wow. There's all lights on every single shop. And there's the Hogwarts at night. I'm back to get these socks. I just got myself some hot butterbeer to compare it to the frozen one. Mm. Tastes like a caramel hot chocolate. It's really nice. Okay, I have my hot butterbeer and I'm on the move because I'm going to watch the last Christmas show at Hogwarts. It should be really fun. I'm really excited to see it. As you can see, it looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to watch this show. And it's not as busy as it was for the earlier shows. It was crazy then. I'm glad I waited.
well basically Harry Potter. I had a great day. That fireworks slash projection thing was really, really fun. I highly recommend you guys come to Universal and check out Harry Potter because it is amazing. Hi everyone, I just got back from Universal and I thought I would show you guys some of the merch I got. I obviously got some pins because, you know, it's me. I got this Hagrid pin because I love that ride so much and I also got a Gryffindor pin because Gryffindors are awesome and I got some Gryffindor socks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot in it because you couldn't bring your camera onto a lot of the rides. Anyway, please like this video and subscribe for more Disney content every three days. Bye now, have a magical day.